Hello and welcome to the latest edition of ESPN FC. I'm Dan Thomas. Julian Ron will be with us in a moment. And then apparently, a man who hadn't even heard of Skype this time last week has set up his home studio. I'll have to see it to believe it. But apparently, Steve Nicker will be joining us a little later on. We'll start, though, with news, as we always do, regarding how the coronavirus is affecting football around the world. Uh, interesting statement made by the National League today. Now, this is the fifth tier in English football. This is what they came out and said. The FA have been asked to assist us with making the decision to officially postpone all remaining National League fixtures and to end the season as soon as possible to define all reasonable and practical options for the determination of the 2019-2020 season. Uh, Julian Ron is with us. Jules, some speculating that this could have ramifications all the way to the top, all the way to the Premier League. Just explain how. Yes, I think it will have a, a domino effect. I'm not sure if it will hit the Premier League because, as you said, National League is, is the fifth year. Then you obviously have League Two, League One, the Championship and the Premier League. It might just not get up there to the Premier League, but, but certainly in that pyramid, some other leagues will be, will, will be impacted. If you just think about if the National League decide that their season is void, suppose you should, you should have had two teams promoted into uh, the fourth division and one team from the fourth division to go down because of what happened to, to Bury that were expelled. If there's no promotion, no relegation from the fifth tier to the fourth tier, what happens to the fourth tier? Do you still promote teams and relegate team? And could you do it the same with the third division to the fourth division? And what happened to the championship, the second division? So you could see already the domino effect that I could have had, especially if the National League decide that basically this season is void and nothing has happened and you go back next season with the same 24 teams that are in the league at the moment this season. In theory though, Jules, it shouldn't go all the way to the Premier League. It shouldn't affect them, at, certainly at the moment. No, you're right. It, sh it should not go all the way to the top of the pyramid. But even if you just think what's going to happen to that fourth and third division, and then that could have ramification and maybe even to the championship, and then suddenly the whole thing as well is a bit crumbling. And also, if the National League, which is still a, a big league, semi-pro and some of the clubs are professional clubs, decide that they void the season, that will also encourage other people. And we talked about Rio Ferdinand yesterday, thinking who thinks that the current Premier League season should be void as well. Other league will say, hang on a minute, maybe that's the way to go. Maybe the fourth, third, second division will say, yeah, that's the right thing to do. This season should be void. Nothing happens, no relegation, no promotion, and we go back again next year with the same teams. And then maybe the Premier League could also think in the same way. Meanwhile, we've seen a lot of people come together, haven't we, uh, to try and help those affected by the coronavirus over the last 24 hours. Uh, big statements uh, from the football community. Lionel Messi has donated a million euros to medical centres in Barcelona and Argentina. Pep Guardiola has donated a million euros as well, uh, this time to the Barcelona Medical College. Meanwhile, Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund players take a pay cut to help pay wages of other club employees. Uh, these, of course, Jules, just a few examples, uh, many coming together, uh, putting themselves to one side to try and help those affected by this crisis. Yes, that's right. And again, I think that's what you expected them or you would have liked them to do. And I think that they're, they're just doing what people expected when, when they earn so much money and when they so, all of them role models and followed by so many people. This is the right example to, 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 to do, the right example to show and, and for people then to follow up. You, we could all do something, all do a good deed. It doesn't have to be given a million, although you probably have enough money done to do so. But, you know, it, it, we can all do something and it's good to see those players doing something. Cristiano Ronaldo as well, we have uh, named him, but also pledging a lot of money to help hospitals in, in Portugal. So this is the right thing to do and I'm glad to see so many of mm. them. And again, like you said, there's many others that we haven't named doing it as well. It's the right thing to do for sure. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.